Pirate Nation is gearing up for its first large-scale home football game. On Saturday, thousands of students and fans will head to Dowdy Ficklin Stadium to take part in the fun. University officials are putting plans in place to keep everyone safe. Not in your sides, Amber Joseph joins us live from Dowdy Ficklin. And Amber, what can people expect this Saturday? Angie, can ECU police say that they're expecting the stadium to hit full full capacity almost and they also say that they're working to keep fans and drivers safe. The university is also working to keep everyone COVID safe. We started planning for this game um, at the end of last season. ECU police and university officials are preparing for the first home football game of the season when the Pirates take on the South Carolina Gamecocks Saturday. Captain Chris Sutton expects about 45,000 people to fill the stands nearing full capacity. The first size crowd that we've had like this since the 2019 season. Several local law enforcement agencies, including State Highway Patrol and FBI, are assisting the university. Falling on the 20th memorial of 9-11, um, um, it also adds a little bit of um, increased um, security, um, not because we expect a threat, uh, but because we want to be very proactive. Sutton and his team are also working on navigating traffic. He says roads will be backed up early in the morning and will run until about 1130. But then when the game ends between 3 and 330, traffic will again pick back up and will probably be pretty congested until 435 o'clock. Um, so if you're not coming to the game, shame on you, but if you're not coming to the game, Please don't come around this area, pick an alternate route. The university will also encourage fans to get vaccinated at the game. We're going to have this trailer set up, so we'll, we'll, we'll be there with some COVID immunizations. ECU is hoping everyone can have fun while staying safe. We're excited to be at this point um, where we've got fans back in the stands near capacity crowd. It's um, great for East Carolina University. It's also great for the city of Greenville and our community. Fans are not required to wear masks in open areas of the stadium, but masks will be required indoors. Now, for more information on game day road closures, head on over to WNCT.com. Live in Greenville, Amber Joseph, 9 on your side. Amber, thank you.